Well, I went and saw Priscilla last night. Right off the bat, um, the theater next to me was the Eras Tour. So that was fun. There was a point where the movie has is very dramatic and it was like this lull and you know, I think Elvis hit Priscilla or something. And it's like quiet and it gets really quiet and you just hear, Jaw cat eyes uh, sharp enough to kill a man. <laughs> I was like, okay, well this takes me out of it. This takes me the fuck out of it. I mean, I basically got a double feature of Taylor Swift and Elvis Presley. That's what I saw last night. Uh, I don't care what you say, Elvis is creepy. Um, he, he, he stole black people's music and then he, he hit on 14 year olds. He's just a weird guy. I don't know why he's such a legend. I guess his, his hair was nice. I never got the, the Elvis thing, but the movie was not good. If you're, if you want to see Priscilla, save yourself and just go see Eras. You'll hear some whispers from the, the theater next door of Priscilla and you'll get the gist of the movie. It's not good. My biggest complaint is not like that Elvis was creepy or anything. I just don't know anything about Priscilla still. The whole movie, the title is her name and I still don't know anything about this woman. She was just a teen that was living in his house and banging him. It just wasn't very compelling. I still don't know anything. I want to know what happened after Elvis. What did she do after Elvis? They didn't even touch on that. She literally had the baby and they were like, and end, scene. I don't know, not a big Elvis fan. Priscilla seems fine. I feel bad for her. Uh, I give that movie a two out of 10. And the two points come from Taylor Swift's music.